Hello! In this video, we are going to learn about storage devices. What are storage devices? A storage device are used in the computer to share the data. We can store movies, photos, games, song, and etc. in them. This computer storage devices is, is classified into four types the primary, secondary, tertiary, and offline storage devices. Now, let us learn about them. Primary storage is also known as main memory. There are two types of primary storage, the RAM and ROM. RAM, also called as random access memory, is a device where programs and data are stored when the processor is actively using them. It is volatile because it needs electric power to keep its information. As soon as the machine switch off, the data is erased. ROM, also called as read-only memory. ROM stores the instruction to start the computer system. The information stored in ROM is different from RAM because ROM cannot be changed. It is non-volatile as their information will not be lost if the computer is switched off. Secondary Storage Secondary storage refers to the storage devices and media that are not constantly accessible by the computer system. These devices for programs and data are stored for long-term use. The data and programs on the hard disk are also organized into files. This secondary storage device must be plugged in or inserted into computer in order to be accessed by the system. Hard disk. The hard disk drive is the main and usually largest data storage device in a computer. There are two types of hard disk. The internal hard disk and external hard disk drive. The internal hard disk is built within the computer while the external hard disk drive is co connected from the outside through a cable. Tertiary storage devices typically involves a robotic mechanism which will mount, insert, and dismount removable mass storage media into a storage device. It is comprehensive computer storage system that is usually very slow, so it is usually used to archive data that is not accessed frequently. This is primarily useful for extraordinarily large data stores accessed without. The tertiary storage device example are magnetic tape, a magnetically coated strip or plastic on which data can be encoded. Tapes for computers are similar to paper used to store music. This magnetic tape is much less expensive than the other storage medium, but commonly a much lower solution that is commonly used for backup. Optical disk is any storage media that holds content in digital format and is read using a laser assembly is considered optical media. The most common type of optical media are Blu-ray, compact disc, digital versatile disc. Offline storage, also known as disconnected or removable storage, is a computer data storage on a medium or device that is not under the control of a processing unit. It must be inserted or connected by a human operator before a computer can access it again. Flash drive, a small flash memory card that plugs into a computer USB port and function as a portable hard drive. Flash drives are available in sizes such as 256 MB, 1 GB, 5 GB, and 16 GB and are an easy way to transfer and store information. Memory card, an electronic flash memory storage disk commonly used in consumer electronic devices such as digital cameras, 
MP3 players, mobile phones. Memory cards are usually read by connecting the device containing the card to your computer by using a USB card holder. Other example of storage devices are cloud storage. Cloud storage means the storage of data online in the cloud wherein a data is stored in and accessible from multiple distributed and connected resources that comprise a cloud. Cloud storage can provide the benefits of greater accessibility and reliability, rapid deployment, strong protection for data backup, archival and disaster recovery purposes. Some examples of sto cloud storage are Google Drive, Flickr, and Microsoft SkyDrive. RAID RAID is short for Redundant Array of Independent Disk. It is a category of disk drive that employs two or more drives in combination for fault tolerance and performance. RAID disk drives are used frequently on servers but aren't generally necessary for personal computers. RAID allows you to store the same data redundantly in multiple places in a balanced way to improve overall storage performance.